We're going to do some Gypsy Queen dual box triple freaking teamer first. Good luck. This is tier one. I really need to take the cities out so it doesn't take up all my room here. I always do this every time. Here we go. Let's get tier one winners. Who is it going to be? Tier one monster hunting. Good luck. Denning with the Yankees and Aaron Judge, which we're due for. Ryan O. <sighs> I'm going to find some new music too. I know when I'm getting tired of it, you guys must be real tired of it. Just I gotta find music that's not gonna get, uh, you know, blocked. Because I'm gonna do an experiment. I think you can remove the music if it's a video that's shorter than like three hours. So if I use licensed music, gets uploaded, I can go ahead and remove the music, but that will get old having to do that every day. So that's why during the breaks when I do manual recordings of each break, I don't play licensed music. I'd love to. What's up, Stephen Wright? How about it? So I uh, this weekend, you guys were asking what I'm doing. Um, Heather asked me, what do you want to do? Do you have any ideas or anything you want to do specifically or go to or not do? I was like, I want to sit out back in my dope chair with my Bluetooth wireless speaker and the boys and let them run around in the sprinkler and play and I'll hook up with the neighbor dads beside me and behind me and they're going to be grilling out and the kids can all play and I'll be enjoying my new um, uh, Summer Kolsch, it's called. And it's by, um, what the heck's the name of that company? They're here in Chicago. Oh, my God. oh Goose Island. Goose Island, Summer Kolsch, and I'm um, just enjoying myself. I'm going to go to the flea market Sunday morning with my son. He likes going to the flea market looking for stuff, and then we'll come home and um, sit out back all, all day and all night. That's what we're doing. Mm -mm. Well, sometimes my wife is tricky. She has tricks up her sleeves. I gotta wake up and there'll be an electronic drum set for me or something. You know it's Steven. <laughs> no, Ernie, but it's still good beer though. Summer Kolsch. Me likey. And I have to remember this year in September I gotta go buy a few cases of it so it lasts me through the winter. Because they really don't sell it after summer. 
You guys have three one. Uh, you have that beer down there, Goose Island. Four nine ten. Four nine ten. <sighs> I know, man, and I used to think this is the funny thing about life. I used to think back in the day when I was younger, right? I'm talking like in my twenties, thirties. I used to think to my family, Why don't you guys come visit me more often? I live at the Dagon Beach. You know, everyone come visit, come hang out with me, come see me. Or when I lived in California. I lived in LA. I lived in Santa Monica. And nobody would really ever come visit. I'm like, I don't get it. Why don't you guys just get on the plane and come visit? Well, I get it now. When you have kids, it's like triple the cost. And it's a pain in the butt. The kids go crazy. It's like, ah, we'd just rather stay home. So now I get it. So I want to travel to all these places. I want to go down and see Ernie at the brew at the factory down there. And we got family in the Tampa area. But it's just such a pain in the butt to travel anymore. Not to mention the cost in general. Tra traveling with a family of four. You're looking at $1,500 easy. Cars, flights. And we don't drive. We're not a driving family. Some families drive everywhere and forget that. I don't like lines. I don't like heat. And I don't like driving. I am a curmudgeon. I don't know, Hogan, if you're listening, just keep track of my stuff. The only long road trip I did that time, ever did in my life, was 10 years ago, maybe 15 by now. Uh, my buddy and I that lives here, Dave, we drove back to Pennsylvania for something, and it was god-awful ridiculous. I mean, who drives? It's just stupid. It's like, it took us three hours just to get out of the Chicagoland traffic. You know what I mean? To get out of the metropolitan area of Chicago. And then you still have the actual ride across country. I wonder what's in these. So, yeah, I'm not into that. Can't do it. I mean, I told Heather I would do it if we could find one of those RVs that someone else would drive and we could just hang out in the RV and, like, watch movies and walk around and, you know, take a shower if I wanted, sleep, lay on a couch. And by the time you do all that, you might as well have just flying, flied. Well, I, I do try and stay away from Florida. I'm, 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 I'm convinced there's something wrong with you people that live in Arizona and Florida. Like, really, seriously. I really think there's something a little amiss with you all that live there. And you guys go to events and concerts and stuff. It's just crazy. How about how about some? Uh, I got I got some Inception Queen. How about some Inception Queen tomorrow night? You guys see all your teams? Sorry, I'm rambling. We'll show it to you one more time. Grammy, thank you very much for the care package. Brixen loved it. I made a video of him opening it, going through everything. So I'm going to send you the video of Brixen uh, opening up your Australian Day package. Thanks, mate. And we repackaged your stuff because of your two jerseys you have here. So I'll have Nate get those out this weekend. I mean, Ernie, I told you the one year we went down to visit Heather's family and uh, there was some big boat race thing going on at the ocean, at the at the Gulf. 
first off, the water in the ocean was like 92 degrees, so it wasn't even refreshing. It was annoying. And then... I couldn't stay there. I couldn't stay at the beach. I was like, this sucks. I can't even concentrate. It's so hot. And they're sitting around drinking beer, eating food, playing volleyball, hanging out. I'm like, dude, you guys are nuts. I can't even enjoy myself here. I'm going back to the air conditioning house. Mm-mm. But I know people say that about us here in the cold. Like when my family comes, they won't come in the winter. They're like, dude, what are you doing? It's freezing outside, literally, and you're sitting out back watching TV. Like, who watches TV outside in single digits? I do. Oh, does it get really hot where Oz is? Like, super, super hot? Oh, Ernie, I'd rather have super, super cold. I already, I lived in a super cold. I have to pump gas in negative temperatures. Because you can bundle up. You can wear uh, multi-layers. You can wear hats over your ears. You can wear gloves. Kind of like I'm not going to do during breaks. You can get warm. And you can stay warm. You can stand by a fire pit. You know what I mean? You can drink some beers, hot chocolates, and stay warm. In the heat, you can't get away. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can't get away from the heat, man. And it just makes you annoyed, frustrated. Like, I would be happy living in Antarctica as long as it was nice a few months of the year. You know, when it's cold out, you can turn on your fireplace in the house. You can make hot chocolate. You can get blankets and lay around and watch movies. I don't know, I just like it. I guess some people like the heat. They get, they dig it. They like it when it's 100 or something. I like it when it's really cold. I mean, it's a difference between single digits. When it gets to single digits, for those of you who may live in the Midwest, there's a big difference between single digits and like, you know, 19 degrees or 22 degrees, 23. You start getting down in that 4, 5, 6, 7 degree area, it is very noticeable. It sticks to you. It's hard to explain. The cold gets in your clothes. (laughs) Just even running into Target in single digits sucks. Well, see, Florida has a beach, but their beach is freaking, it's the Gulf. So it's like really extra warm water in the summertime. And I'd rather, I mean, I'm glad it's not ice cold like an East Coast beach, you know, like in Jersey and stuff. Those, that water's like chilly until like August. But If we get a Henry Owens autograph, I'm putting in a new Tops pack. 2017 Series 2 Specialty Pack if we get a on Henry Owens. What's up, Denning? Just started. There's Joe Musgrove. Denning, you got the Yankees. Denning, you have the Yankees, the Braves, and Diamondbacks. CS to key. I mean, Ernie does live in paradise. He literally lives on paradise. You know when you watch those shows on the Travel Channel? When that dude's voice comes on? Coming up next, it's America's number one beaches on Travel Channel. Siesta Key Beach. That's where Ernie lives. And it is pretty much 
a number one beach in America. My sister got married a couple beaches down in St. Pete. Which was fun. Good night. Hey, Brunk. It's a Friday night. Houston, Joe Musgrave is Houston. Kyle Hendricks, too. Not numbered. Ryan Braun, Gypsy Queen, Mini. Well, we're going easy tonight. I didn't put up a whole lot of breaks for tonight. I moved some stuff because tomorrow night we're going to have a blowout good old Saturday night, TSB night like we used to. You know, because we haven't done blitz mixes in a while. But we've got the big baseball mixer tomorrow night. we got the Father's Day mixer. All the Father's Day packs are in, as you can see here. So I'll be working those like a rib tomorrow night. I have some other goodies up my sleeve to give away. You'll see the breaks. There's going to be more breaks added for tomorrow night, tomorrow morning. And I'll probably add them tonight. You'll probably see stuff like Inception Queens. You'll probably see stuff like uh, Kings and Queens. You'll probably see stuff like Optic. It's going to be a fun night. Oh, Grammy, you won't be here? Grammy, did you see you're in the Beckett break? Dude. The Beckett Father's Day break, Grammy. Did you see you made it in there? You should have got an email. Judge with another home run. What's up, J Moo? We're looking for another auto here. And there it is, Tyler Austin. That is not the Yankee we're looking for. However, it does go to Denning, Tyler Austin. That is definitely not the Yankee we're looking for. It was not, it was not Aaron Judge. Yep, Denning's in, Ernie's in. Beckett's still putting two guys in. Beckett has two of them to give away. I told him to do two of them. Thanks for your help, Denning. You guys told me not to buy this dude. He's good. Why not? Been buying his autos. Well, you're in, Grammy. You might have check, check your email. You have a couple emails attached to your TSB account. I don't know which ones you're using, but you're in, so... Museum collection is up. That's going to be dope. Poop holes. Congrats. He got his 600 and was like, peace out. This dude has no name. Good thing I can look on the back and see it's J.A. Happ.
Denning did a lot of research on the upcoming museum collection. I'm just amazed, literally amazed at how much research he does and how much he knows about the products and what's in them and the checklist and the players. There's some sick triples though in there, isn't there? Triple autos. No, he won't, but I mean, of some value. If he wins a home run derby, I bet he could be in the home run derby. Yeah, there's like triple autos of like Trout, Harper, and Bryant. Like combinations like that. Hank Aaron, Ken Griffey Jr., and Trout. Just crazy ones. Like really crazy ones. I'd be buying up if your budget is permitted. I'll always say that. If your budget's there, I would be buying up a whole division in those PYDs. Pick your divisions two two fifty, Tom Murphy. Trout is loaded in museum collection. It's Trout Fest. So the triple teamers. It's amazing how much value Trout still command, you know? His autos, his cards. <laughs> Aaron Judge has autos in it. Not a million of them, but he does have autos in it. Cody Bellinger is not, though, right? I didn't see Cody in it. There you go. You tell him, Denning. You tell him. What if I looked and museum sold out? I think we're going to try and start at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Try. Try to start at 8. Depending on what I'm doing and stuff. But I think we should start early. Like who, Ernie? More of the players who don't sign. Like who? That's the whole idea. They don't sign much. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is those guys still have value. Even though there's a lot of autographs and different products. Kraut, Chris Bryant's, um, Harper, or Harper's, Trout's. Those guys are still in high demand because they're really, really freaking good ball players. I know it's tough because they want to meet the demand. Oh yeah, Bo Jackson is in museum. And I think they're going to a four pack format. No more mini boxes, right? I think it's four packs, each one with a hit. Didn't they used to do mini boxes for or am I think of triple threads? Oh no. It always has been four. Triple threads is the minis.
Yeah, and dope case hits. Pretty sick case hits. Yeah, baseball is just super hot right now, which is good. Lou Gehrig. haven't seen that card yet. Cool. There's Aaron Judge Mini coming up. Where's the other uh, box topper? Isn't there should be two box topper things? I'm going to rewind the video, see where the other box topper is. What happened? So I'm going to rewind the video on YouTube. <laughs> Where's the other box topper? the other box not in there there wasn't one seriously tops come on tops i mean i know i, I know uh, i have my add gets to better in me sometimes but it wasn't even in there <laughs> come on tops tops listen you got to hook us up with a box topper dude we can't be having that. That's what sells this product. So, all right. I just wanted to confirm that. You guys saw it on the video. I thought maybe I left it in there or something, but no box topper. Jeez. All right. Well, I'm going to have to file a thing for that. I'll file a, uh, I don't even know what they do. Well, there's not one here. This is it. That's I thought maybe it fell down behind the table, but it's not going to fall behind the table because all the packs are there. Yeah, we will. I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it, Denning. I'll, send, I'll email him. And what we'll do, number to 250, what we'll do is, um, I'll, obviously I have everybody who's in this break. I will update you with what they send. Maybe they'll send up another box. That will be easy. And we'll just open it again for you guys. But I will file a record for that one. That's what I said. It's the only reason we watched it. All right, guys. Well, you rewound it. It's not there. I didn't even think about that until just now. I looked and there's none, none there. So I'm glad my ADD didn't get the better of me and I threw it away or something. <sighs> so it's on video. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe they'll send us an Aaron Judge auto to give to each of you in the break. I'm going to have Brixen put together a USA package again for you, Grammy.
I think I have some Cubs stuff for you too, Graham. Damn, that sucks. And I was going to do a giveaway... For the box toppers, American League, National League thing. Now I only have one. It's no fun. I think Top should send everybody one of those new specialty packs for that and a box topper. But you guys know me. I promise when I hear from them, whatever they send me, I'll relay to you all. And I will make a special note of this break in Google Docs. Keep it. No, I might have just got missed. I doubt that's what happened. But oh, don't say that because I get mad. They can't do that, can they? They got like a million cameras in there. Maybe they made up for it and there's an Aaron Judge to 10 in here. Or maybe they made up for it and one of the packs is nothing but autos. <laughs> we open up one of the packs and it's all autographs. However many cards are in these packs, that would be freaking amazing. It's like the all-star team. Pujols doesn't sign too much anymore, does he? You don't see any Pujols autos. Well, actually... Now that I think about it, this is this is something that's probably put in manually. There's not a machine that's going to put this in the top of the box, is there? I bet it comes down like some sort of a conveyor belt. The boxes are open and then they stick them in and stick them in and stick them in. And I bet someone missed one. Oh, Luke Weaver. All right, LC Tops, I'm going to put one of these in for my guys, but you owe me this back because you actually charge me for these in a roundabout way. So I'm going to put that in for the missing box topper. I'll open it up, and the hits will go to the people, to the team owners. This is number 50, Ricky Nolasco, black and white. Cool, this looks different. This This is a sepia one or something. What is this thing? Just looks like a different color. I guess not. Well, yeah, it is a different color. I swear that's different. Or is that just... I swear they're all like this color. And this is highly touted Luke Weaver. I better keep the box because they're going to want. We're going to find out who packed. Which box was it? Are these all the same or different? 747 CM11. Okay, so they're all the same. I don't know what that number means. This must be that's from that case. And then there's this on the front of it. Two four oh one oh four four six. Two four oh one oh four four five. 
So four four five and four five six. These are four four five and four five six, so I'll send him that. One in nine hundred. Sweet. What's it called, Brunk? What is that thing called? It's a red, huh? I bet. It's not numbered or anything, but it's just, I bet it's red or something. I still need to find out what a card back content variation autograph, I mean content variation is. Missing black plate. Missing name plate, 1 in 347. Missing nameplates can't be one in three forty seven. They're pretty common. Mini red. Missing nameplate. See? Just talked about it. Jacob Lamb. Aaron Judge, rookie. Well, I'm hoping they can expedite all that crap. If I just send them a DM and the link to the video, they can initiate something. But I'll do that. I have some ideas for things I'm going to talk to them at the National about. Jake Lamb might win NL MVP? What? I think my man um, Hayward will claim that prize. Regular Clayton. about a black and white auto of Ryan Healy numbered to 99 Oak Town to Oak what about Ryan Zimmerman that you guys tease me about because I bought up a whole bunch of his cards in the beginning of the season
Yeah, I know. It's just fun to chant MVP at Wrigley Field when he gets up to bat. Aaron Judge Mini. Not a whole lot of break tonight, fellows. If you're just getting in here, maybe you missed my message earlier. I'm just doing a few breaks tonight because I have a lot to prepare for tomorrow. Heather has a lot of appointments and meetings all day tomorrow, so I won't be able to work tomorrow. Here's a greenback jock. So I'd like to work on that stuff tonight, get it all ready so that tomorrow <clears throat> it can go on autopilot as far as social media goes and, and marketing. And then you guys can buy into them all day and I can just enjoy myself the rest of the weekend. That's the best Father's Day present ever. You guys just buying in the brakes and filling out those big mixers. Judge already played it, Yankees. I missed them by one game series. We went to the series after that. The Reds. I think it was the Reds we went to. We got a box topper. A deal here. One box topper, boo. I just want to make sure I got all these. I really want one of those dope bubblegum backs. You guys having fun yet watching me scroll through common back cards? What's up, Oz? <laughs> box topper. Just got gypped on a box topper, Oz. In this dual box, we only had one box topper. That I thought I inadvertently threw away. Hey, Harv, what up? Wonder Woman. You've just received a Gypsy Queen box topper of Marcus Stroman. Sure wish we had another one to open tops. I mean, seriously, that's the whole fun of this. Um, speaking of manufacturers and stuff we have to make claims for, um, Oz, I sent, they got back to me on the Deshaun and they sent it over to the right department, so they have it now. So I'll check back in with them next week but they did get back to me they have it they need to know my account of which it's under I told them which my account was so I'm curious to see what they do so I'm gonna sacrifice one of these the hits in here go to the team owners these are the new fancy pack oh Carlos Correa Love that dude. Pirates, Robbie Clemente. Here comes a Yankee, Don Mattingly. In a blue Marlin. Blue Ichiro. Number to 115. So bonus hits for you from me. I'm going to bill tops back for this pack. I'm going to literally send him a bill. But 
No bonus hit. Marlins. For Rhino. Now let's try this. I'll open a Father's Day pack. And we'll just see if this is a baseball card in here. It's a number to 499. Willie Hernan Gomez. I remember this dude's name. But that's what the Panini packs are looking like. Guys should be buying into the breaks tomorrow night. It's going to be a fun Saturday night. I might even break out the wheel. I don't know yet. Depends how much time I have. Don't don't count on it. But if I have the time and I'm feeling like it, I may break out the wheel of awesomeness. But we're going to give away the Carlos Correa bat, the autographed Carlos Correa bat from TriStar, which is just crazy, sick, beautiful. Um, so there'll be more breaks going up tomorrow morning to get final entries into that two hundred twenty-two dollar break credit. Um, the big break. Someone's going to win a spot in the big break, and I have a bunch of other goodies uh, in, up my sleeve. Panini packs, tops, more tops packs. So there you have it. Watch for those.